Hello. Um, happy evening or morning or night, depending on where you are. I've got some news. I found out today that ZWO are bringing out a mini version of the S50, the C Stars S50 Smart Telescope. We can see on the right of the screen here. You may notice this little thing that looks like the robot that accompanies Wally in the film Wally uh, next to it. And that's what it's going to look like, I think. And many of you guys probably think it too. It looks like they're going head to head with Dwarf Labs Dwarf 3 on this. And in which case, ZWO are quite aggressive on pricing. I think they're going to possibly go and try and undercut them on price. Um, why I think they're going that direction other than the size is because they've also, if you look at this other picture, you can see they've gone for a dual lens setup. Um, similar in similar vein to the Dwarf Labs Dwarf 3 and 2. It's got a separate wide angle lens and a main telephoto lens. So I think this is a smaller 30, 35 mil lens. And that is a tiny wide field lens there. And I think because they're going to undercut the price. Let's have a look at some more images here. I think because they're going to undercut the price, they're going to try and keep the sensor quite affordable as well a lot of us would probably like them to stick a 585 sensor in there but i think they're going to go for something like the 662 or the 715 and i think the more i think about it the 662 makes a lot of sense and i'll tell you why in a moment but first we can see this picture here and we've got Obviously, it looks like it's got a bunch of lights to tell you whether you're 50% charge, 100% charge, and they've gone with red, which was which is good news for people at star parties to keep their dark adapted vision. So part of my digging for information on this was to go on cloudy nights, and they've got a big long thread already. And someone very kindly found this screenshot of the control panel to do with this new mini smart telescope by ZWO and as you can see it's in Chinese as you would expect but they very kindly I need to link that uh, Fred I'll link that Fred in the description so we can credit uh, the person who did this you'll be able to scroll through and see who did this but they translated it and we've got this information so enable AI noise reduction. So we know that it's going to have some kind of AI technology in, which I guess is only to be expected at this point because AI is taking over really, isn't it? So switch to auxiliary lens. That backs up what we're seeing with this second lens here. It's not just a, you know, it's not just like a little nubbin to clip on a filter or something that's made out of glass. It definitely appears to be a lens and I think other than that it's hard to sort of glean too much more information from here but what I what I'm doing is I'm trying to look at the S50 their existing S50 to try and find out what they could possibly do with this new miniature version so it seems quite reasonable that they would keep the triplet design, which is an F5, 250 focal, 250 millimeter focal length optic, and scale that down to 30 mil, we think it's going to be at first light optics. Um, if they do that and keep F5 at 30 mil, uh, 150 mil would be the focal length of that so if we hop over to astronomy tools and just make a few more assumptions so we can plug that 30 millimeter in and we can plug that 150 millimeter focal length in i think they're going to possibly excuse all these pop-ups from facebook i think they're going to possibly update the 462 sensor that's in the RMX 462 sensor, I think they're going to possibly update it to the 662, just because it makes sense from a financial point of view. This is the cheapest colour camera resale, basically, 199. And that would work really well 
to undercut the dwarf free price wise and it fits as it's the direct replacement for the one they used in the S50. It is literally the successor. The 462 is the camera I use for my plantry imaging. I've got the ZWO camera version of that, um, but you can't buy it anymore. So I don't, I definitely don't think they're going to put 462s in there unless they've got a lot of old stock of cameras, which is quite possible. If that's the case, it'd still have the same 2.9 micron pixels and the same resolution as this 662. So it allows us to jump over and speculate if they've got either they've got old stock of 462 sensors they're going to go crazy and go for it like a lot of us want them to and put a, a great you know a relatively big 585 sensor in there for a big relatively big field of view at 100 millimeter 150 180 millimeters say if they're going slightly beyond f5 say if you're going for a really wide view that'd be lovely to see them put that in there but then i don't think they'd be able to undercut uh dwarf lab it makes sense that they're either going to use their old 462 cameras if they've got a lot of stock or they're just going to bump it to the new 662 which has got three times the well depth of the 462 which means you can take longer exposures without the wells flooding with electrons and without the stars saturating so you should be able to get good star color good star shapes on longer exposures here it is it says extremely large full well capacity with three times larger than the imx 462 camera the sensor that's in the s50 that is so it makes sense from that point of view and the more i looked at this the more it made sense because if you plug in in astronomy tools you plug that 30 mil aperture in which we think it's going to be the 150 mil focal length if you simply scale down the s50 lens keeping the same focal ratio that gives us a doors limit which is how well you can resolve based on the aperture of your telescope based on that 30 millimeters which matches the resolution perfectly they match each other within 0.1 of a arc second so it makes sense financially it makes sense from a resolution point of view with that kind of aperture and it makes sense from uh, succeeding the sensor which is in the s50 which is no longer for sale and they just simply replace it with the 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 next generation of that camera so that is one possibility i did look at possibly it could be the the very fine pixeled Seven five seven one five camera. So we put the S. Oh, that's the telescope, isn't it? In the wrong one. So we put SI seven one five. That would. That's got one point four five micron pixels, and that brings the resolution down to two arc seconds. But that kind of doesn't make sense then, because it wouldn't be as sensitive, because you've not got as big chunky pixels and deep well depth. And the doors limit will only let you resolve down to about four arc seconds anyway. So the even though that sensor, the 715 sensor, is only £10 more than the 662 sensor, so cost-wise it wouldn't be much more, it wouldn't make sense from a resolution point of view. So if we're going, if we're assuming it's going to be the old 462 camera, if they've got them lying around, or the 662, Give the same field of view because they've both got the same resolution and pixel size this is how it's going to frame the Pleiades and this is how it would frame the Andromeda galaxy not quite unless you're very good at framing and this is how it would frame the Whirlpool galaxy Ooh, is that it so galaxies you've got loads of room around it uh, andromeda bit of fit tight but perfect fit for the pleiades so that's looking pretty good really i know the s50 was pretty tight on its field of view with its portrait kind of perspective i don't know whether they're going to crop this like they did with the s50 i hope not i hope they keep it how this is how is this is framed here but that's my thoughts really from this is what i've thought hard about and come up with 
uh, be interesting to see what anyone else thinks about this. It's all very interesting because, you know, it's it's a little bit like Christmas when you get given some information that something exciting is going to be released, but you're only given limited information. And just like a kid at, before Christmas trying to guess what their Christmas presents are going to be, you just find your mind sort of working overtime trying to figure out what they could be up to. So there's a lot of fun to be had trying to sort of figure out what this new miniature Sea Stars could be. But scaling down from the S50, that's what I think. Now, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And hopefully I'll catch you guys and girls on the next video. Catch you soon. Bye.